Hi guys, welcome back to our channel. Today's session we are going to discuss about the CMOS logic design for uh, NOR gate. The previous video we discussed how to design the NAND gate using the CMOS logic. Now we discuss the NOR gate. First you draw the symbol, symbol of NOR gate in this NOR gate. This is a symbol. Here we are applying the two inputs A and B and output is Y. The equation is A plus B the whole bar. It is a symbol of NOR gate. You can use the two input A and B. The final result is Y. The corresponding equation is A plus B the whole bar. Now you write the truth table for NOR gate. We can make the table according to the input and output. We can apply in the four combinations of input 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 1. You know the property of NOR gate, both the values are low level, the corresponding output is 1, remaining all the three cases, the result is 0. So, truth table of NOR gate. Now, you are just transforming the logical design into CMOS logic. Before converting the CMOS logic, first you remember the rules. Last video I told product or multiplication. PMOS connecting parallel. NMOS connecting series. Suppose the operation is addition. In this case, PMOS connecting series. NMOS connecting parallel. It's a general rule of converting the logical design into transistor level. Now we can transform the logical level to CMOS design. CMOS design for NOR gate. The output equation of NOR gate y equal to a plus b the whole bar. Here the operation is plus. This plus means you can follow the second rule. This rule. You can follow this rule. Here PMOS is connected in a series, NMOS connected in a parallel. First, you draw the PMOS pull, pull up circuit. Here you can use the two transistor because here two input variables are sitting, each variable considers a transistor. First transistor input is A. Second transistor input is B. This transistor is connected to VDP plus 5 volt. It's a pull up network. The transistor name assigned T1 and T2. These two transistors namely called as T1 and T2. Then you write, you draw the NMOS. In this function, two NMOS transistors are connected in parallel. Two NMOS transistor connecting parallel. The inputs are A and B. <coughs> it's connected to the ground. You can get the result between the pulled up and pulled down transistor. This one is a pulled up block. This one is a pulled down block. The result is Y. Y is the output. This transistor name we called as T3 and T4. So far, you draw the symbol to the table, then you are converting the logic level to transistor level. Now, we check the operation of this circuit. Both the circuits are producing the same result of different result that you will check. First, 
you write the input value a and b then transistor functions in this diagram you can use the four transistor t1 t2 t3 t4 you write like this the final one is response response of this circuit you just are seeing the four combinations of input in this table the first combinations of input is a value 0 and b value 0 this input value you assign in the diagram a value 0 b value 0 in pull up transistor pull down transistor a value 0 b value 0 in this case i already told this bubble represent for the inverse function the a value is 0 internal transistor value just to convert 0 to 1 now t1 transistor turn on t2 transistor turn on both the two transistors are turn on t3 and t4 turn off because the gap value is 0 in this case these two transistors turn on the VDD is directly connect to output in this case t1 transistor on t2 on t3 off t4 off the response of the circuit is 1 the result is 1 next you check the second case of input 0 1 you obtain the a value 0 b value 1 likewise the same input apply in a pull down network a value 0 b value 1 in this case the t1 transistor turn on t2 transistor off t3 off condition t4 on condition here t1 off t1 on t2 off t3 transistor this value equal to 0 t3 off condition t4 on there is no possibility to connect vdd value to output the response of the input is 0 the third condition 1 0 a value should be 1 b value 0 in this pull down network a value 1 b value 0 in this condition the t1 transistor of t2 on condition t3 a value equal to 1 t3 on t4 transistor off now also the response of output is 0 now you check the final input 1 and 1 a value 1 b value 1 in this case both t1 and t2 are off condition t3 and t4 on condition so these two transistor turn on it directly connect to the ground the response of the circuit is 0 it's a CMOS logic response table it's a truth table of NOR gate. You are just comparing this two table, the result is same. It produces the both are producing the same result. It's a simple conversion of a NOR operation. First you draw the symbol, then you can write the truth table for the corresponding logical function. The transformation you can follow these two rules in case the operation is multiplication you can follow the rule 1 suppose here following the operation is plus you can follow this rule based on this rule you can frame the structure then you make a table just to check the operation thanks for watching my channel